Hey guys, good day. Thank you for coming back. Hey guys, I want to show you a um, a website that has some webcams. It's WIS News. It's in uh, South Carolina. They've had some um, some interesting pictures, some interesting finds on two of their webcams. So when you go to this, I'll leave a link. When you go to this webcam site, uh, there's these two. It's four webcams. There's two of them here that have shown a set of planets. Here's another picture that was taken today at 4.53 p.m. This one, this camera is facing, it's in South Carolina, it's facing northwest. Uh, this camera is facing uh, just due west. And I've talked about these planets before. I'm going to show you a short video from Final Days. You'll probably remember this. This is a a woman who does um, who scours the FAA webcams. These are government webcams, and let's see what she's showing on this this particular video. The south-facing camera in Sitka, Alaska, shows a fast-rotating red crater-pocked orb that we've seen many times on many of these weather cameras. Some contrast helps to see it better. We know it cannot be a lens flare of the sun because our sun only rotates once every 27 Earth days. This object is rotating much faster than that. We see the oddly shaped pink reflection swing across the bottom of the screen. So this, this red crater, crater planet that um, we have, everybody's been able to routinely see when you scour the FAA, there's hundreds of these webcams. When, when you can find it uh, any given day, you'll find it on a clear day, this, this red crater, crater planet, and it's rotating. But uh, for the longest time, you can only see it from the Alaska webcams, which are obviously located very far north. Now, these planets that uh, she shows, she has many other videos that show different planets, a striped planet, uh, a green planet. Um, th this has really already been, um, NASA has actually already told us this. Now, NASA had revealed to us back on February 12th, 2017, that they found a treasure trove of planets. They claimed they found these planets, this small brown dwarf star, which they claimed to be 40 light years away, which is very far away. That's the, the, the closest star to our own sun is about four or six light years. So this thing is very far away. Let's let's hear NASA talk about the technology that they have that they were able to find seven small planets around a brown dwarf star forty light years away. A new discovery. See is that around a very nearby cold small star we found seven rocky Earth-sized planets nearby, but it's 40 light years away. All of which could potentially have liquid water. For me, it's mind-blowing. The first time I saw what the system had in it, I just was like, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> so, so they're showing seven planets. Obviously, there's no way that they can begin to tell that these planets actually look like this from 40 light years away they would be a dot uh in the, i don't know how they can even begin to say they can even find these planets but the theory is when you read the book of revelation it speaks about a second sign where behold a great red dragon an infrared producing infrared light producing brown dwarf star has seven planets seven heads and ten horns and ten moons now there's been many people who have left NASA, some scientists, and they've leaked out this information. They call, NASA calls this the Trappist system. Remember, Jesus says, and it will come upon all those who dwell on the face of the earth like a trap suddenly. So NASA is telling us about these planets in this brown dwarf star that the Bible calls the Great Red Dragon. They told us about this already. But they claim it's far away, but it's not really far away. It's right here. And we're seeing these planets, number one, in these FAA webcams, which, which our friend here is telling us about. But all of a sudden, we are starting to see these same planets on webcams that are down south. Obviously, South Carolina is not the, not the uh, Alaskan webcams. So today, I was able to... I was scouring this website here and this is what it looks like now it's nighttime i'll just go ahead and refresh the screen um, 
if you happen to look at this during the day, you might come across this. And this was a picture of this one of the red planet, this red planet, I guess a few days ago at 228 in the afternoon. It was seen up in the sky like that. That's why we have the chemtrails to hide this kind of stuff. So today, I when I saw it around four o'clock, I realized I was going to sit there and just watch it for a while. Now let me go ahead and show you. So I taught I saw two planets. So um, in this Lake Murray, there's a, you can barely see it right here. There, there was a round object planet, and then the Sumter, the Sumter webcam had a planet. And let me go ahead and show you what these look like. So this was the um, this was the Sumter. So this was taken at 4 4:43 p.m. today. Now look at this. This looks like some kind of planet. It's got some kind of topography on it. I'm going to flip through the every 10 minute, um, roughly every 10 minute uh, webcam pics. Now let's watch how this thing rotates. You can see it's moving. It's rotating and moving too. See planets rotating. They rotate along their on their axis and then they they orbit around their sun. This planet's no different, except it's very close to the Earth. I'll play it again here. You can see it rotating. You can see this line rotating around as I move through the pictures. Now this is about an hour's worth. Let me go back to the beginning. At 4:43, it looked like this. 4:58, 5:08, 5:18, 5:38, 5. That's one hour. That's obviously some sort of rotating planetary body. That's up in our sky. That's not what people are normally accustomed to seeing. Now let me go to the other webcam that had a different, um, here it is, this one right here, Lake Murray. This was at 453. This one you can't see rotating. It doesn't appear to have these objects on its topography that allow you to see it rotating. But you can see it moving downward as it's setting. 453, 508. This is, this is extraordinary to consider that the Bible would predict something like this. NASA has already told it. And when you try to explain this to um, any average, I'll say the, the, the vernacular, Tom, Dick, or Harry, they think you're crazy for even bringing this up. I have close friends of mine that just won't even consider this. <laughs> I try to show them stuff to them. They think you're nuts. But what is this? This is not the FAA webcams. This is down here. So, so very soon, this stuff is going to be seen in our sky. Let's go back to the to the NASA programming and listen what the lady says. She tells us what we're going to see in our own skies, but they pretend it's some other kind of thing. Let, let's, let me look. This 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 is our programming for us. <laughs> and I look at the data myself, I'm like, yeah, there they all are. It's just, I, I would have never predicted this. It's beyond, you know, anything. Yeah, right. So when we see these planets in the sky, you're going to be saying, I never would have thought there'd be planets in our skies. How does this work? Planets are, or, or just look like a star in our telescope. Thing I could have ever dreamt of. Now this object right here, I think, is somehow being used something that looks like this as far as our sun simulator. They're just teasing us with that information. I felt super excited, amazed by the existence, the very existence of the system was... was amazed ex of, of the existence of a system. See this view here? This is probably what we're actually going to see from our vantage point at some point. You could easily see other planets. If you're standing on all these planets, you'd actually see a lot of them sort of in the sky, looking by on a very short orbital period. There's a hexagonal thing with a black dot in the middle. What does that look like? So when you look at this Trappist system, and they do call it a Trappist system, now we can go to you know, the Word of God, and we can go to Luke 21, and we can see what Jesus says about a trap. 
So this is what Jesus says. He says, this is the words of Jesus. But watch yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with the dissipation and drunkenness of the cares of this life. That that day come upon you suddenly like a trap. The Trappist system. Interesting how they named it that. NASA did. So this, the, the, the rumors about this system is, is that this is a small brown dwarf star. Brown dwarf. Infrared. Great red dragon. It doesn't produce visible light, it produces infrared light. And that's how we first found it with an infrared, um, infrared telescope back in 1983. And then now that it's gotten closer, they know it's got seven planets. Okay, And the diameter, according to some of the leaked information from NASA, is 50 million miles in diameter. The seventh planet is 50 million miles. Now the Earth the Earth's orbit around the Sun, the diameter of the Earth around the Sun is about 150 million. So this entire mini solar system could easily fit between the Earth and the Sun. And it's on some type of highly elliptical orbit. I'm not even going to get into showing that. But this is what we are seeing right now when we look at this at these webcams down south. It's just a matter of time when these things are going to show themselves. It's just a matter of time, guys. So um, I'll leave a link. You guys can go to this website here and you guys can look for yourself. And um, at some point, like Jesus says, for it will come upon all those who dwell on the face of the earth. With that, guys, I'll let you go. Have a great day and God bless you.